Welcome back to The Law Factor Live here on DBS, the number one TV station in St. Lucia, and we're proud of it. On the set with me tonight, I have Ricky LaForce and I have Nkrumah Lucien, yeah. and we're talking about myths and superstitions. We've opened the phone lines now, so if you have any questions, any statements that you'd like to make, then please feel free to do so. Let's take our first caller. Hello, welcome to Delaw Factor Live. Good night. Hello. Hello, welcome to Delaw Factor Live. Yes, good night, everyone. Would you mind speaking up, please? Yeah, I'm a little close on the TV. Yes, what you're saying about Mary. Mary was a woman like everybody else. She was just favored by God. That there's no different Mary still exists. She's dead and she's gone. She's perished. She's rotten and she's like anybody who's dead. Your body decays and you're finished. Your soul returns to God, to your maker. Just like everybody, Mary, just like any other person who's dead. Mary is, does not exist anymore. Because she was, the Bible told you that she was, she exists just like us. And she was a natural woman just like us. She was just favored by God and she bore that child, Jesus, mm. without having any sexual intercourse. She was a virgin and she bought a child. Mm. So oh. she's not, there's nothing to say oh. something special about Mary. Mary was special, but any, she's not, any, because she's dead, you cannot pray to Mary for any favor. All, every, in the Bible says you have to pray to Jesus. Anything you want. If Jesus is the one, he's the mediator between God and man. So anything you want, you have to call Jesus, not Mary. Mary cannot do anything for you again. I mean, come on, we have to open our eyes. We live in open clear bottles now, read the Bible and understand what is going on. And that larger blessing is that is the evil spirit. There are foreign angels who came down from heaven. These are the larger blessings that exist, still exist. They are not rampant like before, like in the bush, because there are evil spirit all around. Evil spirit everywhere now. In your, they come by your home. Evil spirit is everywhere. You know, sometimes you see somebody walking on the road and you don't see the person again. So disappear. And evil spirit that was there, larger blessings exist up to now. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you for, for your for your mm -hmm. comment. Any responses from our guest tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, she's entitled to a view, but it's my belief. I believe. I believe if God can make Mary a virgin and have a child, everything is possible with Christ. You mm -hmm. see, so that's my belief. I mean, I, I respect hers. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, she made some very interesting points. Um, well, she she has a, her view about Mary, etc. I know uh, Mr. Lafos disagrees. But although I find he made a very interesting point a while ago, where he said Mary is one of the gods. <laughs> Something I found very, very interesting. Um, but she spoke about the larger blessed being a fallen angel. Um, what, I, what I think it's important to understand that, that, that based on a certain perspective, things are classified in, in particular ways. So All Christian right. will see the evil. And, yeah, let's, yeah. let's go back to the phones. Hello, welcome to The Law Factor Live. Thank you for calling. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I'm, I have probably listened on the uh, television that I'm, I'm watching by internet from Canada. Thank you for joining us from Canada. Thank you very much. Yes, listen, I, um, I just wanted to share something with you all. Uh, I've been listening for a bit. Um, I believe that behind everything that we see or hear or whatever it is, there is authority. There has to be because as you sit there, you have the faith and your faith is believing that those chairs you're sitting on are going to hold you up. You walk over to a light switch and the reason why you expect that when you throw that switch the light is supposed to come on mm. is because of your faith and what you believe, that's what you believe. But now you look at the wall and I ask you what's the length of that wall? You can believe it's five feet, you can believe whatever you want, but you need an authority to give you the correct length of that wall, don't you? You would have to go to a ruler to get some kind of device to give you the correct length of that wall. I say all this to say that there is authority behind everything. We can sit there and say all of what we believe, but where do we get the authority to say what we believe? Mm. What do we have as our authority to okay. say that this is so and that is so? We can sit and discuss and believe different things among ourselves, but until we realize mm -hmm. if we have to convince somebody else, if you have to convince me that wall is five feet, mm -hmm. I can't just sit there and listen to you telling me it's five feet. You have to give me an authority. Okay. And everybody in this whole world, I believe, has heard of God. Mm -hmm. They have heard of scriptures. They have heard of writings. And I think the authority 
of our lives is the Supreme One who created us, and He was great enough to leave us authority to go by. Okay. But He's not here that we can look at and talk to like you and me. Okay. But He left some authority behind us that gave us knowledge to create rulers and televisions and whatever we have. So we have to backtrack mm -hmm. when we're speaking about things to, to be able to convince me as I look at you all there, I'm asking myself, where is the authority coming from? Where are they mm -hmm. getting it from? Mm -hmm. What authority do they have to say these things? Mm -hmm. And I think even if you want to think of it as Jesus or whoever, he asked that same question. By what authority do you say it's daytime? Or do you say it's nighttime? Thank you. Thank or you so much. I'm just going to have to stop saying, you here so because we have some more people on the line wanting to get through. But we, we accept and uh, respect your opinion and your thoughts. Um, very quickly, before we take a call. Yeah, um, he should, the, the caller should understand one that uh, authority is not just, or the origin of religions and that sort of thing is not always steeped in a, a book. And even in, if you were to look at books, um, you have the, the Egyptian book of, of coming forth by day, you have the various Hindu texts, and then there are much more ancient traditions. Um, I would also recommend that he take a, a look at, at history um, to understand that some of these various myths that exist now in some present traditions were there long before and were understood very differently. But a, a lot is not, uh, not, not written, you know, uh, uh, it's tradition. Yeah. Hand on from hand. All right, let's, let's go back to the, the, the phone lines and just to tell people who have emailed, we've got tons of them as usual. We will get through them, but let's go back to the phones. Hello, welcome to Delaw Factor Live. Hi, good night, Delia. Good night. Um, good night to you again. Good night, good, good night. night. Yeah. Um, Ricky said something earlier on and, and, and it caught me, you know. And now I'm somebody I like to, I, I like to learn. I like info, uh, to get um, new information. So... Ricky, you said earlier on, um, correct me if I'm wrong, that Mary is one of the gods, right? That's my belief, eh? That's my belief. I believe she's one of the gods because we pray to her and stuff. That's my belief. I believe woman is equal to man. Mm. Okay, um, is that biblical? Well, it, it's in, Mary was in the Bible. Mary was at, at the death, at, at the side of her, her son. When her son said, Mother, behold thy, thy, thy son. son be, when, when was the Bible if, with, with James and so what, what I'm asking is, um, you know, because I want to, to enlighten my own self. What you, you said something, yes, it might be true, it might be wrong. So what I want to know, it might, if it is true, then can you lead me to Scripture? Because what you're talking about Mary and she's... Okay, when, 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 Mary, when Mary visited Mary Mag... When she visited Mary Mag and she said, Blessed are thou among women. That means Mary is blessed. She is blessed by, and favored by the Most High. But Ricky, aren't you blessed? Yeah, all of us are blessed, but she's more blessed than us. There are things she we have to more, accept, you know. She was privileged to carry our, our creator, sir. She was privileged to carry the Son of God. Because, yeah, okay, but, but wasn't she a, she was a virgin, right? Yes. Right. So are you saying all virgins are God? No. But what, um, I want to give somebody else a chance on that. Right? So what I'm asking is, lead me to Scripture. I can read it for myself, you know, and for me to get that understanding that because go, go anytime to, go somebody you see that thing about it is go to the book of matthew the, 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 go to matthew in the 23rd chapter and read matthew 21st chapter yes from the 21st to 23rd chapter Mary is a God. and you read you read about what, what what jesus says about his mother somebody said earlier on in closing in closing somebody said something earlier on and just as i was saying same thing, you know she said it Mary was just an ordinary person like me and you, you know. She's dead and gone. All right? Mary has to, nobody has to pray to Mary. Mm. Right? The Bible clearly states that anything concerning you and God is through Jesus Christ. So Mary dead already and she has to so fight for so her. I'm, I'm, I like appreciate you. you. I appreciate right. what you say, say. But I have my beliefs and you have yours. I'm, and we respect yours. We are, you know, can I just I say something here? We are repeating something that we have gone through earlier, and we do have some other calls, but thank you so much for your <laughs> call. Uh, all right? right uh, okay, <laughs> thank you for watching Little Factor Live. And as we're waiting for some calls, uh, let me just try and go through a couple of uh, the emails as well. And people, please keep them short. You must rea realize I cannot answer, I cannot read long paragraphs. This is from Ben. What is Magote? Um, opening umbrellas in the house and entering your home after 12 in the night backwards. 
hope we discuss these tonight. We touched yeah. on some of that, but what is magate? That means you see, like sometimes you have a small finger growing on like your hand. Like what I spoke yeah. about. You have something additional, like your ears, and your, or you have two ears. Uh -huh. For us, we say magote. When the people say, um, it's something special, child. Okay, can I, we go to the calls? And if we need to respond to that, yeah. we will. Thank you for calling to Life. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I just wanted to say that I do believe that we'd all agree that all these superstitions and all these other things come from eons ago when men weren't quite familiar with what was what as well. Because if we look at the fact that at one point the world was considered to be um, round and people off flat or what people are going to fall off. Do you remember that? Oh, that yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It's beliefs like these, I think, that were, were held and at a time when people didn't know better. And I think, by and large, most of our superstitions and the things we do come from a period where we didn't know better. And when, in the medieval times, people did understand that there was evil, they operated along those lines. The church also helped it along. So I think that we have gone past this stage, and a lot of us don't even, as you said earlier, our parents said things that we just did them because we respected them. Okay. I think a lot of us question a lot of things now, and I think that um, it's fair to say that um, they are really what they are, all white tales. I once heard that mayonnaise was put in the fridge. I think somebody asked the recipe for mayonnaise and the lady said you put eggs and you put oil and you leave it on the windowsill outside for three days and that's how you make the best mayonnaise. <laughs> when the research was done, it was, it was discovered that the only reason why it was put on the windowsill outside was because in those days there were no fridges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So people so were okay. following this recipe of making this mayonnaise and putting it outside on the windowsill for three nights when they still had fridges in their house because they mm -hmm. thought by putting it outside, this was really the essence of the way to make the perfect mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. When okay. in truth, there were no fridges. And I think that's how we are still operating with a lot of these myths. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. religion yeah. has a lot true. to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, so true. Voodoo and all the African things have a lot to do with it. We've come past those things. There was a time and age when people didn't know better. Yes, mm -hmm. but we know better now. Well spoken. Okay. Thank well you. Spoken. Thank well, you I for that. I agree in part with the, with the caller. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, before we go to the break, I want to read this one out. So perhaps you can dis you can discuss this during the break. Um, this is by Kenya. I have not seen or encountered any evil or larger bless or maginoe. I'm trying not to believe in it, but I often hear people speak about them. Even this one time, my brother said that a Maje Blanc, Blanc? Maje Maje Blanc? Maje Blanc came after him and he chased it in the middle of the night. There were rumors about an evil horse galloping through the neighborhood at night with a long chain in its neck. There is even the volume which they say walks around just like a baby. I don't fully believe in superstitions. I guess those who believe in it are the ones doing bad things to others. This is The Law Factor Live. When we come back, perhaps you'll give us a call. You tell us what you think about that email. We'll be right back after the break.